Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com A numerical methods and analysis of uh, numerical integration. Let us discuss about Simpson's one-third rule. We know that Newton's course rule Course formula formula is h uh, that is integral integral x zero to x zero plus n h of y of x dx equal h into n y0 plus n squared by 2 delta y0 plus half n cube by 3 minus n squared by 2 delta square y0 plus 1 over 6 n power 4 over 4 minus n cube plus n square delta cube y 0 plus terms are continuing. Now for uh, to derive Simpson's, uh, Simpson's uh, one third rule, put here put n equal to two. In this formula, we have x zero plus x zero plus two h because here n is two. y of x dx equal h into 2y0 because n is here n is uh, 2 here 2 squared is 4 by 2 is 2 delta n squared by 2 is uh, 2 squared by 2 we can write it as it is first 2 squared by 2 delta y0 plus half half into uh, n cube that is 2 cube is 8 write 2 cube over 3 minus 2 squared is 2 squared y2 delta square y0 then rest of the terms for temporarily neglect like here which is further equal we are getting 2 out means 2h that is y0 plus here 2 squared is there already 2 out that is 2 by 2 is 1 that is delta y0 plus half here 2 cube for 2 out of that is 2 cube 2 square is out means 2 squared is 4, 4 by 3 minus 2 by 2 is 1 delta square y so we have 
to h of y0 delta y0 plus 1 by 2 3 is LCM 4 minus 3 is 1 delta square y which is equal to h y0 plus delta y0 plus 1 sixth delta square y to h 6 is an LCM 6y0 plus 6 delta y0 plus delta square y here we will write here which is further equal to h 6y0 and 6 times of y1 minus y0 which means here 6y0 plus 6y1 minus of course delta y0 is uh, delta y0 you can write as y1 minus y0 then delta square y delta square y you can write as further you can write here y2 delta square you can write as y2 minus 2 y1 plus y0 here delta y delta square y0 here For delta square y0, we can write as y square y2 minus 2 y1 plus y0. By 6 here, which gives h over 3 of uh, 6y0, 6y0 minus 6y0 cut and here y0 is there that come here plus 6 y 6 y 1 is there minus 2 y 1 is there that is become 4 y 1 plus y 2 this y 2 now we can say therefore integral x 0 2 x0 plus 2h of y of x equal y of x dx equal h over 3 y0 plus 4y1 plus y2 for similarly for next two intervals for next two intervals we can say that is intervals of x0 plus 2h2 x0 plus 4h we get of integral x0 plus 2h2 x0 plus 
4h v of x dx equal h by 3 of same here next is instead of y0 we are writing y2 plus y1 has for shifting two values that is y3 here instead of y2 we have 4 y4 here let it be here 1 this is 2 like uh, in general in general we can write integral of uh, x0 plus n minus 2 h to x0 plus n h y of h y of x dx equal h over 3 Our uh, way of n minus 2. Therefore, h comes here to that is y of h minus 2 and n minus y of n minus 2, then 4 y of n minus 1 plus y n because we are getting y4 is yn and y3 is yn minus 1 because 4, 4 will is shifting then this is a this uh, now adding all the values now all above integrals like uh, adding 1, 2 and continuing further and up to like uh, suppose this is 3 all the values we can get in general we can write integral x0 x0 plus nh f of x instead of yx we can write f of x dx equal h over 3 of y0 plus 4 times 4 times uh, look at this one here y1 <coughs> y3 here 4 times y1, y3, y5 like it is adding odd odd ordinates like uh, y1, y3 like odd, in, odd ordinates plus 2 times next is Ordinate next time two times even ordinates that is y2 y4 y6 like then plus lost ordinate is yn here even ordinates are like y0 y2 next is y4 like it comes so therefore you can write in uh, in wordings is h by 3 y0 plus yn plus 4 times 
sum of odd odd ordinates odd ordinates plus two times sum of even ordinates this is called a simpson's one third rule this is simpson's one third rule we have done please subscribe our youtube channel